and away they go from the 1600 meter marker. Emperor Augustus began well on the inside as the early leader, but distinguished the front runner goes off to lead them. Halfway to heaven is right there, then silent partner, General Sherman on the outside, now followed by Sherborg. Grasp your destinies near the rail, about seven or eight lengths off the leader. Corridors behind that one, then comes Act Fast. They're starting to stretch out. They're followed by Yorker, who's about a dozen lengths off the leader. Behind that one is Red Barrel and Fourth Estate. Moving towards the 900 and Distinguished is the leader. And that's opened up to lead them now, Distinguished by about two and a half, three lengths. Halfway to Evan second. Silent Partners third, five lengths away, Emperor Augustus. General Sherman on the outside, then Grasp Your Destiny, followed by Sherborg. Then behind that one, along the inside of that one is Corridor. And now they're really starting to stretch out. Act fast on the outside. York has got 15 lengths to make up. Then Red Barrel and Fourth Estate. Top of the lane the distinguishes thereby three or four from halfway to heaven and then silent partner they get away five lengths emperor augustus grasp your destiny and distinguished is still clear by three or four halfway to heaven grasp your destiny and silent partners also starting to run on distinguish the leader silent partners the only one that could grab it grasp your destiny is running on and it's still distinguished hanging on though and distinguished doing enough to win it distinguished has won it second silent partner close for third general sherman of grasp your destiny Distinguishers really put up a gutsy display with the front-running tactics. If Charles Laird wants to join us in the winner's area, we'll be waiting for Carice Teton. He'll be back in a moment. Distinguishers come through, and he's really won a good race up front. He skipped away. Charles, if you want to step into the office here. Now, this is a horse who he has got a high cruising speed, and he seems to keep up that gallop. Yes, absolutely. I spoke to Derek uh, before scratchings. I said he's got 52. Not easy to, to try and find the right rider. Carice... He did everything right. Um, I was a little bit worried half around the turn. I thought he might be going a bit quick, but he said he felt good and he kicked nicely for him. And I'm glad he's won. Congratulations. There's a winning memento from Neil Butcher from Gold Circle. Congratulations to Charles Laird. Let's get Carice Teton, the winning rider. Well, those flames weren't distinguished. He was out and gone and he kept up the gallop. Yes, yeah. Um, I said, say thanks to Mr. Laird. Uh, give me pretty confidence in the ring. He said to me, right? Uh, just let him come out and don't chase him. If you chase him, he pull too hard. Well, he, he, he was travelling, but I just had control in him and uh, and uh, I just sat on him and I was watching 24. I was watching the big screen half four hours, and uh, and one thing I gave him a smack and he just sort of did not quick enough well. And I put my stick down. He, he like sort of ran away again and he won a nice race. Well waited today and uh, well done to uh, to all the connection and Mr. Eustace. Thank you very much. Tell us about that big screen when you have a quick clock and you see you well clear and they are slowly but surely getting there. You just punch them out. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, you know he's done so much and I just wanted to do, sit on him a little bit. So I, was, I just wanted to see how far they are behind me. So it sort of helped me a bit. Uh, yeah. So well onto the b big screen. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, just uh, well onto all the winning connection. There's your winning memento from Neil Butcher. Congratulations to Carice Teton using that big screen to his advantage. Let's get Derek, you want to have a quick chat there. Now he's a horse, we can see he's got a high cruising speed and it's nice to see him stay there tonight. Yeah, Sheldon, he, um, he ran midweek obviously as you're aware and um, I think he just ran away with Anthony there. If things didn't work out, I think he just, uh, as he came out, he wanted him to go and he just bolted with him. So, But at the, at the weights with a horse like Corridor, I thought was a big run in this race. He was something like eight and a half kilos better off from the last time they met. So we thought he was in with a chance, but obviously after Wednesday you couldn't be confident. Congratulations on behalf of the Eusters, the winning memento. Yeah, just well done to Charlie and his team. They've done a great job, especially since Charlie's been in hospital and recovering and Anton has helped out and Kevin and everybody that's been there in the mornings. And uh, congratulations to Marcus. All the best. Thanks, Sheldon. And then the winning groom is Richard Kubeka. Richard Kubeka, the winning groom. You'll get some prize money. Congratulations there from Mr. Neil Butcher, director of Gold Circle. There's your winning prize. Congratulations. And Distinguished has come through to win a good contest. Thanks very much to Neil Butcher. And Distinguished, well, he's kept up that gallop and he's led them a merry dance.